Dear students, in this class we will discuss about subject verb agreement. In English, subject and verb have different functions to do and they are also considered to be important functions. In this class, we will study some important subject agreement, subject verb agreement rules. Number one, a singular subject takes the verb in singular and a plural subject takes the verb in plural. There is a cat. There are three cats. They are happy. But a singular subject takes a plural verb in the subjective mode. In the subjunctive mode. If the story were true, what would it matter? Number two, an uncountable noun, though plural in sense, takes a verb in singular form. Her hair is grey. The grass is getting long. Number three, we can use the plus adjective with a plural verb to refer to some group of people in society. The old are generally respected. The poor are not at all Honest. Two or more singular subjects connected by and usually take a verb in the plural verb, plural form. When and is followed by a negative word and no or not, the verb agrees with the word preceding to no or not. Imran and Irfan are two brothers. He and his friend have arrived. I and not my brother have done this work. Only boys and the not the girl are guilty. Number five. If two singular nouns refer to the same person or thing or two subjects together express one idea, the verb must be singular. The captain and the manager of the team is coming. The same person. The captain and the manager of the team are coming. Different persons. One article for the same person and two articles for different persons. Bread and butter is his favorite food. Slow but steady wins the race. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. Titles and names of plural form also take a singular verb when they refer to one thing. Seven Doors was a very successful film. This was sixth rule. Seventh rule. A phrase of measurement, though plural in form, takes a singular verb. Two hours is a long time to wait. Five miles is too far to walk. Rule number eight. We use a singular verb after a subject with every, each, any, everyone, someone, anything and nothing. Every people has a book. Each boy was wicked. Someone is waiting at the door. Nothing happens in this place. When each follows a plural subject, the verb is plural. The peoples each have to take a rest. A test. The peoples each have to take a test. If two or more singular subjects preceded by each or every are connected by and the verb is usually singular. Each boy and each girl was dressed with a new dress. Every man, woman and child was charmed. Every man and woman of the village was present at the festival. Every hour and minute brings its call for our duty. Two or more singular subjects connected by or, nor, either or, neither nor take a verb in the singular. This is rule number 10. The boy or the girl is found fond of sweets. The boy or the girl is fond of sweets. Either amel or Beeman has eaten 
the mango neither you nor i was there rule number 11 when the subjects joined by or nor either or neither nor are of different numbers the plural subject comes later and the verb must be plural nikhil and his friends have done this work neither akbar nor his brothers were hurt rule number 12 when the subjects joined by or nor either or neither nor or of different persons the verb agrees in persons with the one nearest to it either he or i have done this neither you nor he is to blame either you or he or i shall go to market in order of placing subjects of different persons or second person third person first person that is 2 3 1 but in the case of confessing false the order is reverse 1 3 2 first person third person second person however in both the cases the verb agrees to the person nearest to it you he and i shall watch the tv tonight i he and you have done the mischief either i or you are to blame rule number 13 when subjects differing in number or persons or both are connected by and the verb must always be in the plural though the placing of the persons would be according to the above note you and he and i are friends you and he are birds of the same feather you and i not i and you would enjoy the tv rule number 14 a collective noun takes a singular verb when it is thought of as a whole and takes a plural verb when the individuals are separately thought of the army was defeated 50 rupees is enough for me there is a large audience but the audience are requested to take their seats separately the jury has ordered to hang the man but the jury are divided in their opinion the committee has agreed to take anonymous decision but the committee are divided in, res- in respect of details the committee usually raise their horse uh, hands to vote yes the committee has agreed to take unanimous decision but the committee are divided in respect of details the committee usually raise their hands to vote yes rule number 15 a lot of a group of a number of there is a lot of boys on the ground collectively a lot of boys are playing in the field separately thus here is a group of boys a group of boys are enjoying a picnic there is a large number of boys in this class a number of boys were caught copying when a plural noun follows number of majority of or a lot of we normally use a plural verb a large number of letters were received the majority of people have complained a lot of people have complained here a number of etc expresses quantity but when number means figure it agrees with the verb the number of letter we receive is increasing the word amount agrees with the verb a large amount of money was collected large amount of money were collected rule number 16 some nouns which are singular in the form but plural in the meaning take a plural verb these include police people staff a dozen etc the police are questioning a man but the police man is watching outside people have to obey the law the staff have come to the 
come to this decision. Two dozen, not two dozens, make twenty-four. One dozen of eggs cost thirty rupees. Rule number twenty-five. The indefinite pronoun one should be used throughout. One should be careful of one's uh, duties. One cannot be too careful about what one says. Not he says. In case of a pronoun, following then, or as is determined by the sense of the context, and that can be done by mentally supplying the verb in the context. Rama's father, Rama's house is better than Jadu's house, or Ram's house is better than that of Jadu. He is taller than I. Or he is taller than I am. I like you better than he. Or I like you better than he likes you. I like you better than I like him. They gave him as much as I gave him. Or they gave him as much as I. They gave gave him as much as they gave me. However, he is taller than me. He is now accepted. Now, rule number twenty-seven: Many a, many an. Before a noun is singular in form, and the verb is usually singular. Many a rose is born to blush unseen. Many an admirer praised him. But when a great many, a good many, too many is used. Instead of many a, many an, it is plural in form, and the verb is also plural. Too many cooks spoil the broth. A great many, a good many boys were absent for the class. Rule number twenty-eight: Pair names. A pair noun like trousers, glasses, scissors, etc., is plural in form and takes a plural verb. Those trousers need cleaning. Your glasses are very nice. Here are the scissors. We cannot use a or number of before the pair nouns. Not a trouser and not two trousers. We can use pairs of such pair of nouns with a singular or a plural verb. This pair of trousers needs cleaning. How have three pairs of scissors managed to disappear? Rule number twenty-nine: A single axillary may serve two principal verbs if the construction allow it. I have lost the pen, but have got the book. Common axillary for the same subject and the same tense, but when sub the subjects and tenses are different. Common axillary will not serve the purpose. You have retired, but your brother has resigned. I have resigned, but a new man has been appointed. Rule number thirty: A clause or a phrase has a subject that that takes a singular verb. To your human, that is honest is known to me. Now try to do the following exercises. Filling up, filling it up with suitable verbs. Looking at the subjects, one of the helicopters dash missing. No news dash absolutely good news. Neither of the girls dash quite at her ease. The jury dash divided in their opinion. Each of the robbers dash arrested. Twenty rupees dash too much for this article. Two thirds of books that's been lost. Shakespeare is one of the greatest dramatists that that ever lived. Which one of these books that's yours? Two tons of coal that's here. None of the boys that's done the sum. Iron as well as copper that's found in India. 
the cost of all necessary articles dash risen the chief which is follow yours dash arrived the arabian nights dash delighted many generations and none of the girls dash present in the class there dash a large number of boys in the field a number of boys dash found a copy in here dash a group of boys a group of boys dash going on the road now try to fill in the blanks with the correct uh, verbs time and tide dash for none early to bed and early to rise dash a man healthy wealthy and wise each man and each woman dash given a price i and not my brother dash done this no man no woman and no child that saved only man and no child dash allowed to enter the room two books only and no pen dash required each boy and each girl dash present he as well as his friends dash guilty the boys as well as their leader dash running away the king with his guests dash being killed mr roy together with his children dash buying some sweets if i dash a king i would ban examination either you or he dash done this neither life nor property dash forever either you or your friends dash guilty you are the man who dash done this the headmaster and the secretary of the school dash coming not only he but also his friends dash come here one of the boys dash liar so by Um, repeatedly going through the rules and doing more exercises in subject verb agreement you can become master of subject verb agreement because it is considered to be one of the most difficult area in english language learning happy learning english all the best children thank you very much